Right now it's the first day in Newfoundland. We're up on the mountain looking for moose. We've already seen a couple of moose this morning. Seen a <clears throat> real nice bull up the ridge. We're trying to pick him out now. He was in this tuck tuck and it's uh, probably the gnarliest stuff that you ever seen trying to walk through. But uh, <clears throat> we picked our way through this and we're looking for that bull right now. Uh, beautiful country in Newfoundland. Just a perfect day in paradise. That's what I call paradise. I guarantee you this is my cathedral that I go to church. I'm, I'm, I'm holding mass right now, so <laughs> this is definitely God's country. I first started hunting when I was just a little kid with my dad. Uh, he took me out even before I could hardly walk. He'd carry me on his shoulders uh, and take me back in the woods. Uh, we mainly used hunting as a uh, food source. You know, my dad was a a meat hunter and he would rather shoot a doe or a cow elk than a big bull any day so he says you can't eat them damn horns <laughs> so basically he took me hunting every year and uh, I, I fell in love with it uh, it was kind of like my first love you know tom has hunted all over the globe i mean this isn't the first backcountry hunt he's been on. I mean, he's taken world records. He's had a gyrus moose that was a world record for years there in Colorado. Also too, this year, I was fortunate enough to become the Colorado Bow Hunter of the Year. You know, it's a pretty prestigious honor to be Bow Hunter of the Year. And he's always teaching and you're learning from him. And I mean, anything. This man has been around the world. He's seen almost all of it. And just to be here with him and to partake, we've become good friends. I just honor and privilege just to be here, you know? Yeah, I hear you. <sighs> I've known Tom for four or five years or so going, and he's got a real fight on his hands. And... One day I get the call from him out of the blue that he's got the C word and, um, and it's in the upper stages. We don't know how much longer. And... It was just, it was a pretty good pill to swallow because I'd never been sick a day in my life. And, uh, uh, you know, and it's just the way it is. It's just, uh, I guess, drew a bad card, so. is a big game changer for me, uh, you know, um, on how I approach my life and, and what's important to me. Uh, you know, family, um, having my wife and kids, grandkids, having, <clears throat> being able to experience what we're just doing right now um, means a lot to me. Like I say, it's been a challenge for the last eight months. Um, you know, I didn't know I was, was going to be able to be able to do this hunt. This may be my last hurrah, um, but I refuse to let it get me down. Um, you know, I'm not angry about anything or or the way the good Lord. <clears throat> but I'm so grateful to be able to come up here. It's something you got to take advantage of every day and opportunity. And he's taught me that. Boy, look at this, man. Look at how beautiful that is. Look how clear that is. This is about as good as it gets right here. Nectar of the gods. Ain't this beautiful? Hey, that morning with Tom, as you know, we're going up there. He's not in the best of health and he's struggling through it, you could tell. But you know what? He was making it up those hillsides. We were on 45 degree inclines, crossing rivers and creeks. They, they eased up on me, so, so and they, they helped me every way they could. So I want to thank them very much, you know. And I'll tell you, it was, it was all inspiring. And, and it was just so uplifting to see him go through that and to experience that with him uh, was just so meaningful. 
but I'm going to do the best I can, live a life to the fullest. I'm, going to, I'm hunting here in Newfoundland, you know, I mean, what more can I, a man ask for, you know? I'm doing what I want to do. Good Lord's let me do this, so, you know, and I'll do this, and like I say, until, until he says it's time. plan for today is to kill a moose, plain and simple. Amen. We're going to go back up where we saw those two bulls yesterday. And yeah. We're just going to coax one out to us. Good. And then Tom gets to sing one to sleep. All right, good. Yeah, Lullaby. Good. <laughs> yeah. I think we were pushing one, though. There's a lot of animals in that wood. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's like needle in a haystack. You got to yeah. just find it. This hunt is a relatively safe hunt, but we are in the wilderness, and we have to um, be aware of that, and we have to be respectful of that. There's an old saying that a, a, a moose is a grizzly bear inside of 20 yards. Um, so once you get into that real close proximity to a moose, their, their instinct goes from flight to fight, and they're gonna defend themselves. So we are very careful about how, we, how close we'll bring a moose in. Um, I've been charged twice by moose, and both have both of them have been cows, um, not bulls. So that's one of the reasons you hike, you go with a guiding service. We're going to look after your safety. We're going to look after your well-being. We're going to look after what you want to get out of this hunt. And when you leave, hopefully you've you've accomplished one of the greatest hunts in North America. Nice morning, the wind had laid down. So we headed out across the brook, climbed up uh, to the first bench, looked back across the river and saw a couple of animals, uh, decent animals, not, not anything huge. So we decided we'd, uh, we'd head up a little higher and we saw a great big bull skyline right on the top of the, the next ridge over. So we decided we'd uh, take a, a quick look, see if we could get to him, and lo and behold, another animal came down, another bull. Nice young bull, blacker than black. It seemed like they kind of tag teams these cows. The big bull will, will follow the big bull around, looking for them cows, hoping for a you know, free ride on, on a cow, so. He's not real wide, but he's got decent pants, so we'll, we'll take a look when he gets closer. The big bull went over the top, but the little bull we were able to call in. Let's just let him cook for a minute. We got all kinds of time on this guy. That's, I think he'll come closer. And uh, he was sure curious. He, he hung up about three, 400 yards away from us. And you see this cup with a brook running up it? He's going to come. Hopefully he comes right down that, but let's let's get up a little bit where we can get tucked in behind some brush and see what we can do. Let's get right up to this brush. I think if he comes through the bottom, he'll come the rest of the way. He closed the distance by several hundred yards very quickly, but then he kind of hung up. There he is. This, this look good guy, right here, right here. Okay, okay. he's coming. Okay. Moving to the right, moving to the right. Good shoulder shot, good shoulder shot right there. And Tom had a couple of shots there he could have taken, but they were a little bit of brush, a little questionable. Wait. Okay, let's let him get up, see if he goes into that bog. I think he saw us. Um, so then he started cutting crossways across the hill. He's moving to the right. You can see him with your naked eye. He's just trotting through the woods now. Now he's lost. He's got to get out. There's too much brush in the way, though. When he comes out, I'll stop him. There he is. Oh, wow. Tell me when, Shane. Getting close. Mm -hmm. hold, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Call him. It was in the clear. It was a nice, wide open shot. Broadside, I'm like, take your shot. He's right there. All right. Here it comes, guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I hit him. Oh. And Tom put a fantastic shot in on the animal. I'm going to hit him again, guys. Take him. Oh, nice yeah. Shot. He's down, man. Yeah. yeah. 
Good wow. job, he buddy. puts the hammer on him. I mean, he's a great shot. He shoots all the time. <laughs> I was just so excited for him. Oh, oh, that yeah. was fantastic, yeah. you know? That was awesome. Yeah, thank you very much. Those are memories for a lifetime. Oh, right yeah, there. you bet. I got, it. I got him. I'm happy. We see some bigger bulls, but this bull was for me. He had Tom's name all over him, so pretty special. Look how dark he is, man. Yeah, isn't he pretty? He's black, beautiful. Yeah, but isn't that a beautiful animal? He's got some good points on him. Yeah, 14. 14, 14 points, scoreable yeah. points. So, like I say, I'm, I'm very, very pleased, you know? Very, very pleased. You can't, can't ask for anything better than that, yeah. you know? Just to come up here and with me having my health issues and everything, it's it's a blessing. It is truly a blessing. I, I could have chose to maybe sit on the couch and take my pills and, you know, but I refuse to do that. I want to come up here and do what I want. And, until the day I die, and, and I am. So, you know, it is what it is, and, and uh, even though you got cancer, you know, you just gotta work through it, you know, and uh, endure. And the place, I mean, look where you shot him. Oh, I know, this is There's God country. Better. Yeah. I, mean, I, I went to mass today. Yes, you did. Domine de Santa. Executus Demusus. <laughs> Executus Demusus, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> Like I said, it's just been a privilege to be up here with Shane and being with the, the guys, Jim and Mike, you know. It's just, sometimes it's hard to talk about, but I'm just very grateful that being able to do this, and I'll, I'll try to do this till the day I die, so. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the evening hour, and we thank you for an absolutely fantastic day. We thank you for a safe hunt, a successful hunt. Thank you for shared memories with these guys. And we ask now that you'd bless this food to our bodies and thank you for this chance to enjoy uh, a little a little taste of your creation. Pray this in Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Thank amen. you. Thank you.